All right, find x and y. What we have here is a line that has a perpendicular segment going straight up, and then this going off looks about a 30 degree angle above, not 40 degree angle below. And what we want to use is specific knowledge we have with straight lines, right angles, and so on in order to determine the values of x and y. So, what do we know about a straight line? How many degrees it has in it? 180 degrees, right? So a straight line has 180 degrees. And if we take a look at the two bottom angles, start off with those two, y and 40, those two angles together create the entire straight line. You can see they have an adjacent side. The non-adjacent sides form a straight line. So these two angles here, they're referred to as supplementary angles. They're also called a linear pair. All right, Two angles that form a straight line are a linear pair, or if they form a straight line, they're supplementary. That just means they add up to 180. Okay. I made a big deal about this last year. I'm going to do it again this year. When you're doing a geometric problem using algebra, draw, write an equation. Every single time, write an equation. Use some property to allow yourself to write some equation involving what you're looking for and what truth is there. All right. As the problems get more challenging, the equations are more and more necessary to get the right answer. You guys probably all could have gotten 140 without drawing an equation on this one. But again, get in the habit of, I see a geometric figure, I want to figure out something about it. Write an equation that represents what's true about that. And then solve the equation using good solving technique. So y equals 140. Uh, can somebody come up with an equation that would be true about x? X plus 30 is equal to 90. Okay, how do you know x plus 30 equals 90? Because the um, angle opposite from it is a 90 degree, and that would equal, and the linear angle is 180, and since the other one is 90, those two have to equal 90. So Kalen's argument here is this is a straight line with 180. This right angle marked is 90. So if this is already using 90 degrees of this straight line, these two angles together make the other 90 degrees. So that's an accurate equation. That would be legal. So x plus 30 is equal to 90 is a legal equation. The other legal equation you could have come up with would be 90 plus x plus 30 equals 180. Those three angles together um, make up the straight line, so all three to make 180. So either one of those equations would be fine. This is the more streamlined uh, equation. It's more efficient. But again, it's a true statement based on what I'm looking at. These two angles make it the right angle, so those two angles add up to 90 degrees. Those are called complementary angles. And Again, solving the equation using good solving technique. Move the 30 over, change the sign. 90 minus 30 is equal to 60. And just like that, we figure out the values of x and y, which is what it told us to do. So we answer the question, we're done.